With the 2022.0 release, NetFab can create build files for EOS M machines using the newly integrated EOS Software Development Kit. In order to benefit from this functionality, NetFab 2022 and EOS Print have to be installed on the same computer. You will also need to make sure that you have an active license to both software. Let's take a closer look at how to set up NetFab so that it can utilize the SDK integration. The process starts by adding an EOS M printer to my machines. Next, you can edit the machine and define the installation folder path where the EOS SDK resides. After loading the machine workspace, click the Change button to select the machine configuration. Choose a configuration from the list and select Edit Configuration. This will create a duplicate configuration and launch the editor dialog. Here, you can load an EOS parameter file which contains all the necessary build strategies and exposure sets. At this point, you can either select a pre-populated build strategy or create a customized version. Once your changes are applied and your configuration is selected, the edit dialogs will close and you'll be able to assign unique build strategies to your selected parts within the EOS machine workspace. You can also assign a specific laser to each part. Color coding on the platform visualizes the access area for each laser. Once you're done with the setup, you can select Export Build Data and create the OpenJZ file. Now, you can launch the EOS Print software and click on the Load Job button to open the file you have just created in NetFab. Once the file is loaded in, you will notice that your desired parameters have been assigned correctly and you can proceed to create a task for the machine. 